I'm Steve Denning. I'm a professional musician and music instructor. This is my studio, and these are my students. I'm going to prove to my colleagues and to all of America that I can take five middle-aged women who have never played music before, teach them instruments, turn them into a band, and take them to the top of the charts. I'm about to roll up on this new studio. So I've asked the band to meet me in the parking lot of my new studio. It's not built out yet. It's basically just a large empty room, but it's where we're gonna be having a rehearsal today. Excited about showing it to the girls. I uh, think a couple of them might have a little bit of trouble trying to like kind of understand the vision behind it. It's not as uh, fancy as the other one. So I wanna kind of get them in and see what they think of the place. I'm, I'm not done with it yet. I, I haven't built it out yet, but uh, once it'll be built out, Musicology will be open for business and it'll, it'll rock that other studio hard, so it'll be good. Not like I'm super competitive or anything, but I am. So here we are. You know, the part that I really don't get, why can't you just tell us what we're doing? Why all this secrecy? Why does he have to be so mysterious? Maybe he's gonna take a shot. Maybe he's gonna get us uniforms for the band. That would be hilarious. Wondering, wondering, wondering what's going on. Why are we meeting here? Um, you know, why are we meeting there? there? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Do you, you know how you had to talk to anyone else? Or, or I don't understand him. About to check out my new studio for the first time. So I'm probably the only one complaining about it, but it does really irritate me. Don't just show up to your regular rehearsal place where you always are at. Meet me at some random parking lot in a strip mall. This is my new studio. I'm really excited. Dumb ankle. Love those hooker shoes, but guy, they kill. Twisted it. I'm on crutches. We're here and I'm sure it's gonna go great. I just hope I'm not getting kicked out of the band. Maybe he had, maybe he's gonna tell us that he doesn't want to teach us anymore. I don't know. All right, wait for the girls now. No, you wait. I don't have a stop. Jeez. Um, they're supposed to be meeting me here. You need to learn the rules of the road. This can't be right. I didn't know we had shopping centers this old. I don't know if he's taking us seriously, like, to, as a band or whatever, but I think if we do decide to do that, people are going to know that he's our teacher, so he better mm. teach us right, right? Well, no, kidding. I know. Well, he did say that. You know, he doesn't want to look like a fool. <laughs> I don't yeah. want to look like a fool. <laughs> Why do you guys think Steve had us meet here? I don't know. Of all places, a strip mall, too. I don't know. Is Anita, is she going to come too? Yeah, and T, I think they're going to be together. Oh, Anita's probably in front of the mirror still. <laughs> Poor Anita. If they say anything again that we're late. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do we I'm say? Gonna, I'm just going to get really upset. Because okay. we're not that late. We're just like maybe 20 minutes late. I mean, yeah. is that really that late? Uh, in Mexican terms, no. <laughs> they don't really know they're actually meeting me at my new studio, but uh, Oh, you know what? I think I see him now. I'm gonna get a coffee, okay? okay? Really quick. Hey, ladies. Oh, there's Steve. At least he's here. Oh, hi, Steve. Where's Anita and T? You hi. have to ask. Anita's in front of the mirror. Uh, which mirror? We don't know. <laughs> As usual, Anita's running late. Unfortunately, she's been ride sharing with T, so these two, I have a feeling they're gonna be really late. God help us all. I don't know when they're gonna show up. Oh, there they are. Oh, there they are. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. What's We're up? What you Hi. work together on making each other late? <laughs> yeah, you know. You look great. If you're going to be late, you might as well show up with somebody. Right. right. What are we doing? Let's Come on, guys. i got something to show you. All right. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. I know. What are you doing? Well, it's not a circus. It's not Summer. what? It's Why is a house? Oh, yeah, yeah, really? Got this crazy? I need in tea, don't worry. Do you need help? Uh -uh. Right, like, why, why not worry? <laughs> What's wrong? 
Welcome, uh, welcome to my new studio. What? Yes. This is the future home of, really? of music college. I love this! Musicology? Yeah, that's what it's, uh, that's what, that's the name, musicology. It's our new studio. So this is it, right here. So we go from a real practice studio to a strip mall? <laughs> okay then. Wow. What happened to the other place? It's yeah, still I like that. Yeah, I agree with Joey. I like this, this, so, this is like... Your place, then. It I is. Mean, this this will be my place. The other place was cool, but this place is going to be much more conducive to actually learning music. And what we want is we want an environment that's about teaching, right? So that way you guys get the most of it. So in this place, it's it's going to be, it's going to be great. It's going to be fully stocked with all the stuff that we need. Um, the drums are always going to be dialed in. It's yeah. going to be nice and uh, great kits, great tuning. Lots of air conditioning, which is going to be really nice. Yes. You won't be sweating anymore when you're trying to play. <laughs> Sweat. Uh, well, not not anyone here, I'm sure. Nope. But uh, yeah, yeah. So so it's it's going to be you know everything about this place is going to be geared exactly towards dialing in every single one of your guys' instruments, getting you guys to come together as a band, and this whole place is going to be dedicated to learning music. And that's that's what we want, right? So that's, that's what I mean by less is more. These girls don't understand. I haven't even built this place yet. But this is where all the magic's gonna happen. You can see all the blue tape on the ground. That's yeah. where we're actually gonna be building studios. So it's not gonna look like this, but you know, I got you guys uh, coming in now to get you started. We got like I mean, the 80s are coming back. You can do like As long as we have shirts, a shower, yeah. bathroom, I'm good. It's not a gym. You can't oh. put a shower in here. I'm not gonna. We sweat. I, can't, but I know, but I'm not gonna be living in a cot with that. We need a vanity. A vanity? A vanity. Maybe with she'll get like, her earlier. Yeah. You need separate sinks. <laughs> You need at least four to five chicas, right? Yeah, right, that'd be, right, yeah, right? That'd be so awesome. Yes. With some really Hollywood like bulbs. You know what? I got a great idea. What is oh it? Oh my gosh. Black and white um, marble. Okay. And then you could add some velvet, like Elvis um, Presley. Yeah, maybe um, like a waterfall. On the wall. Oh my yeah. gosh, with a touch yeah. of red. <laughs> that would be. I'll go to TJ and get you some. <laughs> no, but seriously. Oh, they have you. Some, there's oh. some nice ones. You. You would love coming back. Oh my god. Man, Velvet Elvis. Maybe some velvet dogs playing poker and stuff. Definitely in my budget, but uh, I mean, I don't do much painting shopping in Tijuana. All I care, Steve, I just want a shower. We need to have a shower in the bathroom for sure. Like me and you, that's not going to What are you trying to say here? So I can shower after we're done. With the lesson? <laughs> Don't you think I should just go with it? Macy's. You think I'm gonna put showers in a music studio? You, our other place had it. 80s is coming back, so you could do like some cool nagels and like sculptures up here. Maybe like a water, a water wall, a water wall. That would be amazing. Yeah. Where? Patrick Nagel. I think she googled his name on the way in here just to throw me a curveball. That's how Erica works. It's not a hair salon. We're just gonna want me to put some. Uh, some hair dryers in the back for the moms while the kids are getting their lessons or something? Or? No black, white, and red, because I have seizures. And we need a handicap access. You will have oh, handicap access. Okay, the best thing, 60s and 70s bands like Grateful Dead, Iron Butterfly, you know, that's because we're rock and roll. I think my wife has other decorating plans. Just saying, I think the whole ska look works for this place. Look at you don't even have to change the floor. I love, you know, I love the specials. And the English beat. But you're almost there. I mean, we can put like black and white pictures up and, you know. No red. No red. You know what you really need? What? Some Denny Dent art. I have no idea that is. Denny Dent painted the famous rockers like Jimi Hendrix and John Lennon. And there were t he would listen to their music, and he would sometimes have three and four paintbrushes in his hand at one time, and he's just painting them while he's listening to his mu their music. That's how inspirational the 60s and 70s music was. That's fascinating. That's what you need. Denny Dent paintings? Fantastic idea. I have a couple of extra yachts that I'm, I'll just sell that I can use to, to just get the money to buy one of these. You know, I, I really like that all of you guys have like strong suggestions about it. So, uh, you know, I I definitely would like to hear more of your ideas for sure. I, I'm not gonna promise anything like six sinks, a waterfall with the flock of seagull sculptures, and, <laughs> and a shower. I'm really excited to hear the girls decorating ideas, but we've gotta figure out who's gonna be singing for this band. If not, 
man, they better get ready to hit the smooth jazz circuit. I don't think they're ready for that. But right now, it's, it's time for us to get set up and, and play some music. Okay. First jam session in the space, so let's, let's get set up. All right, let's go. All right. I, I like all of your opinions on Okay. Okay, all right. And so we'll, we'll talk more about the, the guy with the big hands, Dad. No, he We have like nine. Next time on Music Man's Ladies Band. If these girls don't have a singer, they're not going to be playing shows. We're going to have you sing for dinner. We're, we're going to do oh. a little a little blues game, right? Will I get help? But I can't sing and play. We'll help you. And the guitar. Can't wait, all you guys should shake your booties. <laughs> <laughs>